Hey, what's up guys? BJ Dell back with video three in my new series of turning every single letter of the alphabet into an animal that starts with that letter. Today, we're gonna tackle C and turn it into this cute little cheetah, but here's where I need your help. Let me know down in the comments your suggestions for letters going forward. You might possibly see your idea come to life in one of the upcoming videos, just like F Nunez 89 who suggested the cheetah for today. So let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, guys, so let's go ahead and draw C for cheetah. Starting out, I'm using a 4,000 by 4,000 pixel 300 DPI canvas. It's an RGB canvas. For my brushes today, I'm gonna be using my Essential Creator Set for Procreate. We're gonna start out with the Brainstorm Sketch Brush to begin with. And for my color palette, once again, I've got this pre-made, so if you wanna download the exact same colors that I'm using in today's video, you can get that for free on my website, bjdell.com. There's a link to it down in the description below. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna begin with black to sketch. Once again, using that brainstorm sketch brush. I'm gonna drop down the size here to my second from the top, 19% pre-saved size. And to begin with two, we're gonna add in the C. So we've gotta to go to our wrench icon. We're gonna to go to add, and we're gonna to go to add text. So I'm gonna double tap here, we'll select it. For the font, I'm gonna change this over to Arial. That's what we're using for this entire series. So we'll grab that, we're gonna go with bold. Back to the keyboard here, and we're gonna go with C. All right, I'm gonna grab my arrow here with uniform selected. We're gonna make this bigger. Get this here in the center. Let's turn on our canvas. Let's turn on drawing guide, edit drawing guide, symmetry so we can see the center line here back in here with snapping turned on we can see with that orange when it hits orange we're in the center there there we go I'll turn snapping magnetic off snapping can stay on but there we go all right so we've got that centered now I'm gonna come up here to layers and we're gonna drop the opacity of this. We wanna see it. We don't want it to be too dark though. This is gonna be just kind of our guide where everything's gonna go for the cheetah. Now that we've got that, I'm gonna make a new layer on top of here. Actually, I could just drag layer one on top. Then we're gonna draw on layer one then. And I think I wanna have like the tail coming here and we'll have the head down here so just kind of lightly start to sketch in here. Just over top of the C. I'm just doing this really rough. Not really worried about making it too perfect right here. All right, I'll kind of stop there to leave room here for the, the head. So I'm gonna hold down the eraser so it switches to that same brush that I'm using and pull this back just a little bit. And then with that done, I'll just kind of do an oval here just to get the head kind of in there where I want it. All right, now that we've got that, let's go ahead and start working on getting the shape of the rest of the cheetah first. So I'm gonna pull the legs in here. So we'll have the haunches kind of back in here, some ovals and some smaller ovals down here for the feet and then we can just kind of connect these. You see, just doing those two ovals really lets us kind of visualize how those connect. So if you're having problems as an artist, trying to get everything to look like you want it to, using some basic shapes like this to help kind of mask out where everything goes, really does uh, quite a bit to do that. We'll do the same thing here too. Kind of pull an oval here, and then an oval here. And then we can use some darker lines then to kind of connect these. Okay, looks good. And then I'll pull that same haunch and leg right there in the back. 
kind of darken up around here. And we can kind of just kind of throw in some lines here for where the tail is going to split colors and then some other Charlie Brown lines back here for the extra black that's going to go in there. All right, looks pretty good. So now let's start working on the head here. So I'm going to go ahead and draw a center line here coming down so we can kind of visualize be kind of like a three quarters perspective. And then I'm gonna to start to bring out kind of the tufts of the hair on the sides there. Bring those around, draw some ovals here for the ears. Now with this three quarters perspective, this ear here is gonna be bigger than the ear here. This one's gonna be tucked back there in the back behind. So that one's gonna be smaller. And then this one here, is going to be bigger. Right, kind of continuing this around, we'll throw in some tufts of hair there on the top of the head too. It's one of the things I always like to do with my cartoon characters is throw in those. And then we'll bring in some more detail here around the tufts on the sides. All right, now that we've got those, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in an oval here, for kind of where the mouth is gonna go. Another oval at the bottom for the bottom part of the mouth. And then another oval here in the center for the nose. And then we can kind of start to make that a triangle at the bottom and then round it off at the top there. All right, looks pretty good. Now we'll kind of continue here to the mouth and get the actual parts there that blocked in and then curve this up and around and on the sides just like that and once again this is supposed to be loose i'm not worried about making everything perfect right now it's supposed to have that kind of really sketchy loose feeling to it pull line up there where the nose is going to come up and around the bridge to the eye We'll start to do some ovals in there then. Once I've got those in, I'm gonna start to kind of curve these around a little bit more, pull them out a little bit further. On both the left and the right, just like that. Get the pupils in here. We'll have the irises around there. Once again, just keeping it loose. Some eyebrows there. And then just kind of finishing up, throwing in some details there, kind of really quick. I'm gonna pull this out just a little bit more. So this kind of ends up against that leg there. All right, and there we go. There's our sketch. Not a lot to look at right now, but that's what the next stage is for. That's the inking stage. So let's go ahead and do that now. So to begin the inks on this, I'm gonna come up here to the layers menu. I'm gonna make a new layer on top of layer one. I'm gonna turn off our C here in the background, that text layer. And then I'm gonna grab the blend mode here by hitting the N and I'm gonna drop down the opacity down to about 20, 25%. We wanna see it, we just don't want it to be too dark there. All right, so this is gonna be our inks layer on top. I'm still gonna use that same black, but I am gonna switch over my brush. I'm gonna use the smooth inker, and I'm gonna tap this again to open up the brush studio. And with this, there's a lot of curves to the C, so I'm gonna turn up Streamline all the way on this. It's gonna make those lines that curve around just a lot easier to do. Okay, with that done then, I'm gonna start here on the face. So I'm gonna zoom in so we can see it a little bit better here. And we'll just start on the, the nose here. So we'll start to bring this around, dragging and dropping the color here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and hold down on the background here to select white. And then I'm just gonna pull a highlight there across the nose. We're gonna go back to black now. And we'll pull 
and those around here. Just kind of continue around as we go. You'll see here I'm making the top thicker as it comes around and then thinner here. Now with that, it's basically just a harder press followed by a lighter press. Lighter press here, harder press, lighter press. Get these pupils in here. I want a little bit over the edge there. Oops. I'm gonna hold down again on that eraser to select the same brush that I'm using. Just kind of pull that back just a tad. This one here on this side. And then with a lighter line here, we'll pull that iris around. Same thing here, just a lighter press. I want that line not to be as thick. Holding down in the background then, I'm gonna select that white again. And we'll just throw in some reflections here. So you can see this reflection is a little bit wider here. I've got these on the right side. So I've already decided I've got the light source coming in from that top right hand corner. Okay, back to our black. Continue just working the lines around here. This bottom here. So I'm going to pull this a little bit heavier in the back part there. All right, looking good. Do the tufts here at the top. And for these tapered lines like this, much like the eye here, it's basically just a harder press towards the center, lighter press and lifting up with the brush or with the Apple Pencil as you come back down and around. Pull this over a little bit. We'll have this ear on this side here. I want to thicken this up just a tad bit. Okay. Pull them back so you can kind of see where we're at. All right. Looks pretty good. I'm going to pull a little bit of a bridge there. And then we'll pull some extra lines across here. All right, pull them back some more so you can see. Now from here, I'm gonna go up to the layers menu. I'm gonna make a new layer on top of this one. Sometimes I like to use different layers for lines so I can overlap the lines. And this one's a, a perfect example of that. So with this line here coming around, it's a lot going on. And I wanna start further back here so I've got control over not only the direction of my stroke but also the pressure that I'm using. And you'll see too, this area here with the, the hind legs, I don't want the thickness of this down here to be the same here because these are gonna have a little bit extra thickness. I want this to be a thinner line just like the parts in here that I was talking about with a thinner line. So it's gonna take some light and hard presses as I'm going through. So starting with a harder press, a little bit lighter there, harder press, lighter, harder, lighter back here, harder, just like that. All right, and now with the eraser then, this is why I made a second layer for this because I can erase these overlaps and I don't have to worry about erasing those lines that we had already done. This looks a little funky right now, but it's gonna look a lot better once we do these other lines. All right, so I'm gonna go back now to the layer of the head. Once again, with that same brush then, start to pull these lines around. Just like that, and the lighter lines in here for those paws. And then I can use the eraser again to erase those overlaps. Now you see with these being lighter, how that actually looks a lot better than having this super dark. It really makes these look like the outside lines. We'll continue on down here, same thing. 
once I get up into this top area, then that's where I'm going to lighten up these lines. So it's going to be the inside part. Do some lighter lines here for the pause. And this one I did miss there. So I'm going to go ahead and redo. this line here just so it does butt up against. I don't want to really have to draw in the body down there. I just don't think that's going to look really well. All right, I'm pulling back out. You can kind of see what we've got there. Okay, finally this line back here. Get a thicker line here as it comes around. And then the tail here. So we'll just draw a line, one here. And this one's gonna be a double because we're gonna fill this in. All right. And I hit everything. So four finger tap here to bring back up our menus. We'll drag and drop the color in, but we're on two different layers, so we need to pinch these together so they're all on one, and now we can drag and drop that color in. All right, and then I'm gonna turn off the sketch layer so you can kind of see what we're left with for the inks. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in just some extra like details and lines dropping down the size of this brush, and then zooming back in here so we can get in pretty tight. We'll pull in some extra lines around here. Oops, just erased that one, didn't I? Also get some whiskers in here. So pull some of those around. We didn't put those in the sketch, but actually want those from up here. And get that one up a little bit further there. I think those look good. You can also do some extra lines like this. If you wanna do some fur lines, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the streamline now for this. Those really quick lines, I don't like to have streamline on for that. They just need to look a little bit more organic and you lose a lot of that with the streamline. It's a little bit too perfect. And just adding parts like that around. Just go to making it a little bit more interesting, giving a little bit more detail. All right. And then next, on the same layer, I'm going to go ahead and come up here to my color palette. We're going to choose this third color over. We're going to use that for the spots here. So we'll throw in some spots just with this different color on that same line layer. I want these to have color and I want them to be on the line layer for when we go in to add the colors here in a little bit. So we'll just throw in some ovals around here, just kind of haphazard, wherever you think they look good. Totally up to you. Some bigger ones and some smaller ones just to break it up so it doesn't look perfect and once again, that mechanical look, we want it to have that natural happening in nature look. And with these, normally if I was doing this for a personal project, I would zoom in quite a bit. So I'm making sure that these are really good round ovals edges are nice and I'm getting everything filled in really good but with that I know it's annoying to zoom in and out a lot so I'm just going to leave them as they are I'll get a couple more over here and we'll be done okay so there we go we've got our lines done now next up let's go ahead and move on to actually adding in the colors so to add in the colors we're going to come up here to our layers menu 
Underneath that layer three, our lines layer, I'm gonna go ahead and number one, layer three, I'm gonna erase these extra marks I've got. So I'm gonna set this as reference. So setting this as reference, when we add new layers underneath here, it's gonna allow us to drag and drop colors in. And with that done then, I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna make a new layer. The second color in here on the top, I'm gonna drag and drop. We're gonna do quite a few different layers here. It's gonna make coloring in or actually adding our shadows in a lot easier. So with that done, let's make another new layer. Do one leg here, another new layer. Do that leg, another new layer. We'll do the head here. And you'll see, whoops, when I drag and drop that, you'll see continue filling comes up. We can also hit that and then just tap to fill in if you don't wanna drag and drop every single time. Got that back leg there, so we'll do another new layer. And then we've got the parts of the mouth and the tail here. So let's do another new layer here. We'll switch our color now. This fourth one over, we'll use that for the tail there. Let's go ahead and use that for, we can stay on the same layer here, the top part of the mouth. And then I'm gonna make another, whoops, and you'll see here, I actually hit the lines. That's why it had all those lines there. So zooming in here to make sure that we've hit it right, we'll make sure that that's taken care of. All right. And then I'm gonna make another new layer for the bottom part of the mouth. Coming back up to the layers, I'm gonna turn off the background so you can see, yes, we still need to fill in these eyes here. So we're gonna make a new layer there. We'll switch our color over here to white. We'll fill in, once again, hitting the lines. <laughs> fill in the eyes here. I'm gonna make one more new layer and go to this green for the irises there. Okay, and I'll turn back on the background here in a second. You can see though, with that turned off, we can tell we're missing that bottom part here on that mouth. So back to that layer nine, I need to fill that in. All right. Turning back on the background then, you can see what we're left with. I think the other thing we gotta do is the inside part of those ears too. Yeah, those are missing. So we can use that bottom mouth part here and we can fill those parts in on that layer. All right, there we go. So the color flats are done pretty quick. Splitting them up like this, like I said, it's gonna make adding the shadows and the highlights easier. And instead of, I know in the last video I used clipping mask to do this, to save some layers here, in case you have an older iPad or non-pro version, instead of using clipping mask, we're gonna use alpha lock. So instead of adding layers and uh, co coloring on those layers, we're actually gonna color on directly onto the layers we've already colored in. So I'm just gonna go through and we'll tap every single one of these layers and set them as alpha lock. So that way we don't have to do it layer later and it's just kind of, a way we can speed up our process. All right, so we've got all those alpha locked. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and begin here on the body itself. So layer four, we'll go back up to our color palette and let's go ahead and go the second row here. We've got this kind of burnt umber color. We'll use that. And then coming back up to our brush library, I'm gonna switch over to the soft rendering brush. With that selected, I'm gonna to go to this higher setting here, which is a 28% size. And then, like I said, I've got the light source coming in from here. I'm just gonna to start to pull in. And I see something I gotta fix already here. See with those marks, I did have an area there that I missed. So I need to turn off alpha lock because if I'm gonna color this color in, that color doesn't exist on that layer. So I need to turn it off first and then turn it back on. Okay. With that done then, back to that orangish color here. 
that higher size. I'm just going to start to pull this up and around. You'll see with this brush, you get this really nice gradient effect. And it builds up really slow, so you've got a ton of control over where it goes and how much. With that done then, let's go to layer six, which is this left haunch and leg. Throw in that back here. Bring that around. We'll do the other leg now. So back to the layers in layer five. Bring a little bit in there as well. Now back up to our layers menu, layer seven, which is the head. We'll start to pull that up from the bottom. And you can see here, this is why I made all of these separate. It's because right now, as I'm going over this, I'd be hitting this area that we just did and it would be screwing up everything that we had already done. I'm gonna drop the brush size down to this middle one now, 15%. I'm gonna go around these eyes here. Just pull that into the eyebrows there. And then holding down the brush or the eraser to get that same brush, I'm gonna pull, whoops, I can't use eraser because I'm on alpha lock. So I've got to select the color here and use that instead of the eraser. So that's something to remember if you're used to using clipping mask, alpha lock, you can't use the eraser because it's gonna erase what you've already got. Speaking of alpha lock, I missed a, a section there too. So I need to do that on the head, turn off alpha lock, color it in, oops. And then turn it back on. All right, looks good. Let's go ahead and work on the bottom part of the mouth now. So we've got this one here. Let's turn off the background so we can see. This is the top. I'm gonna move this one up so we know the top and the bottom. So holding down, just gonna pull that up. So this one's also the inside of the ears. So with that selected then, we're gonna go back to that color, go to that middle one here, pull a little bit here underneath, and then on this back side coming down and around. Do the same thing here inside the ears, kind of building that up a little bit on both of those. This one of course is a lot smaller, so we'll have to use a smaller brush here because we just want a little bit of that in there. Okay, back to our layers menu and then layer nine, which is this top part here. We'll go underneath the nose here, build that up and then around the back here. And a little bit down here at the bottom too. Okay, looks good. This is, I think, the tail. Yeah, this is also the tail. So we'll pull a little bit here on this back left-hand bottom of the tail. All right, next up, the eyes. So let's go to layer 11, back up to our color palette. And I've got this blue here. We'll pull this around. I'm gonna make this the smaller one here. Start to build that up around the top here. both the left and the right hand side and around the back here as well. I'm just kind of letting up pressure as I get further there on the inside. Back to the layers menu, we've got the irises here and the color palette, we've got the dark green here. We'll start to build this up from the bottom. Just letting up pressure as we go. So we get it pretty dark there at the bottom and letting up towards the top. All right, so I think that's pretty much it for the darker colors. So let's go in now. So to the shadows, let's work on the highlights. So let's go back to layer four here. We'll select this one. We've got the kind of bright yellow color here. We'll use that, making the brush bigger. And once again, the light source is coming in from this way. So the highlights are gonna fall here on this top right hand side. So we'll bring that around and kind of fade that down in. Do the same thing here on this side of the body. 
You can see how nice that fades. So we've got that yellow going into the yellowish orange into that darker orange. Back up to the color or the layers menu, we'll go for the head next. We'll get along the top here. I'm gonna drop the size down though. On the top of that tuft of hair there, on top of the ears. We'll bring this down the center too, down that nose. And on this side. All right, that looks good. Let's also, making this smaller, I'm gonna pull some here on, oops, we need to go back to the body for this one, which is layer four. Some on the top of this paw. Just to make that pop a little bit more. All right. Back to this then, layer five on the layers menu. We'll pull some of this around here, making the size bigger. Get that one there. All right, and then let's see, where is that back part? Is that on the body? No, that's layer eight. So layer eight, this one here will hit that pretty hard. All right. Looks good. And then finally, I'm gonna hold down to select white here and we'll go back into the irises, layer 12. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit so we can see better. And I'm just gonna hit the top of these. Once again, we've got some fade there going from that highlighted green to the regular green to that darker green. All right, pulling back out then, you can see what we're left with there. So that's pretty much it, I'm gonna grab the black, switch back then to my smooth inker and make a new layer here. Get this guy signed and then we will be done with today's video. So there we go, C for Cheetah. Thanks for watching, I really appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and hit that bell for notifications so you can get alerted when I post new videos. There's gonna be more in this series and more other videos too, so you don't wanna miss out on those. If you guys do follow along with any of these and make a design based on the tutorials, I really urge you to post them online. So if you're on Instagram or Twitter or threads, any of the social medias, definitely post it there and tag me at BJ Dell so I can get a chance to check them out. Love seeing your guys' work and seeing what you come up with when you follow along with the videos. So thanks again, I appreciate it. As for me, I can also be found online, bjdell.com. And that's it. So until next time, keep creating.